Hey, it's Coach Tom Ferry. Welcome to Life by Design, your place online for ideas, inspiration, and how to stay in the right action. Track and measure, 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 and then track and measure. Now, why am I saying this? There's two kinds of agents in the real estate business. There's two kinds of business people in general. Those that say, well, I still have checks, therefore I must still have money. That'd be one way of tracking and measuring versus people that are analyzing every ounce of their business all the time to make better course corrections. Now, let me ask you a question. Which one are you? Are you the kind of person that doesn't ever really know what your open rates are, what your click through is, what your lead to appointment conversion is, what your call to contact, list price, sales price, time to market? Do you know all these numbers off the top of your head? If you do, and there's so many more to know, I know, but when you know these numbers, you can course correct. You can make an adjustment. You can make an improvement. And what I know is this. There's only two kinds of agents. People that know their numbers, that are tracking and measuring all the time. All the time. How many days did I work? How many hours did I do my 554s? How many people did I talk to? How many leads did I generate? How many appointments did I book? How many of those were buyer appointments and seller appointments? What was my conversion buyer appointment to sign contract? How many offers do I have to write to get a signed contract? I know it sounds maybe anal at times, I get it, but here's the deal, you ready? Tony Robbins talks about this. He says, some people track and measure once a year. At the end of the year, they go, well, this is what I did. And then they can make some adjustments. Some people track once a quarter, giving them a little more power to at least say, hey, at the end of this first quarter, the last quarter wasn't so good, what am I gonna do in the next quarter? Some people track and measure and then can course correct every month. You know, last month wasn't so good. What am I going to do better this month as an example? Some people are doing it every week and some people are doing it every day. Now my question for you is, what are you doing and is it getting you the kind of results you want? So the overriding message is twofold. Track and measure everything. And secondly, my advice is every week you should be looking at all the leading and lagging indicators of your business and making a course correction. This is the time to make a fortune and this is how you do it. Hey, if you need help figuring out what to track and measure, how to track and measure, you know, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can Google, you know, real estate tracking and measuring. Uh, you can get one of my new favorite apps, Strides. You can download our app, Thriving Daily. There's lots of ways you can do it. If you need some customization, then call my office, 888-866-3377. Heck, click a link down below somewhere. Get a hold of somebody at my office and have a conversation about what you have to do to track and measure to course correct so 2015 can be your best year ever. Thanks for watching. Track and measure. Talk soon.